Ruth has the ball teed up at the 35-yard line. Ray Hudson, one of the deep men, along with Ramsey Robinson. And we are just about set to get this one underway. Opening SEC game 2003 for Alabama and Kentucky. And it will be no return, so let's take a look at the starters tonight in offense. Offset with the fullback, Coyle to throw. First pass, complete inside. Or across the 35, Triangles loop, the senior out of Phoenix City Central, uh, Muhammad Abdullah, had an interception two weeks ago in an opening game against Louisville. Here's a running play and another big opening. There's going to be a gain of almost five yards in the play as Mike Williams and Justin Haydock come over to make the stop for Kentucky. Second down, about four and a half yards to pick up the first. They need to go to the 48. Here's Williams, Broncos in front. That's the first down. This one off of a gain of about 16, maybe 17 yards in the play. Shad Williams now three carries already for 23 yards. It's Clint Johnson, the tight end in motion. Back to throw, going to go long. Got a man out there. There's Luke at the 15. It'll be first and 10, Alabama. Electrical engineering major. Going to come from the far hash mark. Good pass. Uh, actually, that, he hit that very, very short and I'm not so sure Mike that the, the snap, snap, the snap, snap was, was low. <laughs> the game the only setback behind Lorenzo. It's Adney in motion. Here comes pressure. Going to have to hurry to run out of the pocket and they're going to set them at the 12. Derek Pope picking up where he left off last week. <laughs> It's a good one, catches this one, end over end kick. Waiting at the 48 is Sean Williams. And Williams is going to be stopped at the 45 yard line over the uh, west or east end of the stadium. As they keep it on the ground again, here's Sean Williams, has five, has ten, still hustling, and it's going to be 13 yards in the play. That's Abdullah, who was holding on for dear life. Yeah, I, I, think, I think that's a good point. Ball just outside the 30. Second down. Pumps it once. Under pressure. Going to be sacked behind the 40-yard line. Darrell White, a freshman out of Middlesboro, Kentucky. He was out of the state of Wisconsin. Good pass here at a very high, high kick. This one is not going to turn over. Takes an Alabama bounce. Going to go out of bounds around the seven and a half yard line. Wow. They have really had problems fielding the football. But they get this one nicely, and here's the punt. Spiral is not going to turn over. Williams can return it, though. For the 47, had a little bit of an avenue, and he'll take it inside the 45. We wondered, after as high as the two teams got last week, Oklahoma and Alabama, if it would be hard for the Crimson Tide to get that kind of emotional level again. Inside the 40, inside the 35, it's good for the first down, and it's Kenny Darby. Second down at about nine and a half. Kentucky show blitz, but they stay at home, and it pass complete over the middle, inside the 20 to the 15, Dre Fulgham. The senior makes the catch. And it's a running play, McLean is blocking, good run. on the play. 217 remaining opening quarter. It's a very good kick. Driving spiral. Williams pushing him all the way back to the 30-yard line. And two flags come down on it to 45. Turn. Illegal blocking him back on the receiving team. 10 yards from the end of the run. First down. And we are just about done with the opening quarter. Royal deep in the pocket. Here comes the pressure. Holds out through Michigan. Has the first down and then wisely slides down at about the 38 yard line. Play action. Holtz coming with pressure. They don't pick him up and Holtz. Dion will get the sack. That's twice they've gotten to uh, Brody Croyle. Right now he is anticipating this punt to land in between the 35 and the 40. So they stand to get a really good exchange off this one. Another good hanging spiral. Abney and the 32. Loses his footing and again the grass got him. Third down. Lorenzen deep in the pocket. Now he's going to step up. Pressure again. He just throws this.
this one away. Freddie Roach was all over it. What Louisville did to Gerard Lorenzen is moved him Texas to the right. On the offense, the ball did not cross the line of scrimmage. Lots of down, fourth down. And the pass did not make it back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth punt of the night. Low line drive. Get a bound at the 48, taken by Williams, and he's juggling it all the way. A few oohs and ahs from the crowd. Williams. And look at these with total yards. Six for Kentucky, 130 for Alabama. Short drop by Coyle, got his man. Zooms it complete at the 43. That's Fulton. <laughs> Counter play, that's going to be a face mask. We did not see a flag. Here comes one in now. And Shad Williams close to the first down, being knocked down by Ellery Moore. Good young fellas. Good manners, well spoken. Coyle sings this one, has it complete this time, it is Luke. Triangles Luke making the catch, and that'll be enough, I believe, for the Alabama first down. Good pass this time, got plenty of distance. Can he squeeze it in there? Yes, he does. One of the first things he told me tonight when I arrived here at the press box, he said, Alabama's had a terrific week of workouts. That quick pass thrown complete, and that is to Keenan Burton. And that game right there is going to be longer than they had in total yards for the entire first half. <laughs> he said that was enough to be fearful of. Here comes the reverse, and that's Bernard. And Bernard, wow, hit after a short game. Senior out of Viejo, California, by way of... Uh, Saddleback. Lorenzen, play action. Here's the pressure. Got a man right there. Gets it to his tight end. Gaffin, and Gaffin, 35, down to the 30. And finally, the shot got around. You can see they're going to put a foot down around the 32-yard line. Can you imagine the 190-pound defensive tacklers in high school that had to try to tackle him? Well, shuttle pass. That's Davis, Drake Davis inside the 15. It's going to be enough for the Kentucky first down. Lorenzen, play action, going to keep it inside the five, still running, and he is going to fight his way down to the one-yard line. I think it's going to be first and goal as Roman Harper made the tackle. That's a gain of about ten and a half yards. Kentucky's been good inside the 20-yard line. First and goal. Straight ahead. Touchdown, Drake Davis. Nice drive by Kentucky's offense. Good play calling by Ron Hudson. Blitz coming right up the middle. Coyle's pass. And that is Zach Fletcher. He will make the catch. His first. What did they find out? They said it's wide enough. It's wide enough. He needs to keep in bounds. John Williams big opening. Has five, has ten. He was almost up to the races. He'll take it down to the 40. And Shad Williams, I don't think, is injured. But you see uh, Tank Connolly taking care of him, the equipment manager. And I think he couldn't get his chin strap on correctly. Ball is caught by Fulton. But it has uh, fizzled just a bit. Let's see if they can pick up this fourth down play. Straight ahead, and uh, they're going to have the first down. That'll bring them to life. And behind Wesley Britt, Justin Smiley. We've got 145 and counting left until halftime. And Williams straight ahead, breaks it open. Gets into the secondary, will take it inside the 25-yard line. Raymond Fontaine comes over to make the tackle. Williams with six tackles on the night. Kenneth Darby checks in a tailback, gets the handoff, going right up the middle, turns those legs, still fighting, close to the first down. Adock with still another tackle. Key pickup, almost 11 yards to take it to make it a first and goal on that uh, last running play you saw. Straight ahead is uh, Coyle with the quarterback sneak, and he's going to have the first down from where the uh, linesman has come in and marked it. Here we go, 24 seconds left. You see the blitz coming right up the middle. Throws, far side, got it complete, and there's Hunter steps out of bounds at the two. First and goal, Alabama, 18 seconds. Show you on the play. Fakes the pitch, rolling, rolling back into the middle. It is intercepted by Anderson. He had a chance a moment ago, and this time makes good on it. Two seconds left until halftime. 
but he cost his team points and they go in at halftime with only a two-point lead as Lorenzen takes a knee and we head to halftime. So a halftime score, Alabama 10, Kentucky 7. Now here's Reese Davis, Trev Alberts, and Mark May with the Pontiac High Performance Halftime Report. Gentlemen, Drake Davis, the lone setback behind Lorenzo. Short drop, swings it out, and he's got it to Abney. And Abney's going to take it. That is his first catch of the night, by the way. And he'll take it for a gain of uh, almost 11. Okay, we'll see if he's able to accomplish that. First down for Kentucky on that throw to Abney. Here comes the pressure, and uh, Lorenzen does the smart thing. He goes down during Pope. The second sack, and Pope has both of them. It is a third down, and they need 14 yards to keep this drive going. Lorenzen throws the middle screen, and that's Holt. Holt will take it out across the 40. Going to be short of the first down by about three yards. spiral kicked away from the deep man Williams now takes a big Alabama roll it's going to be touched dead by Kentucky Atlas a 6'4 286 pound senior out of Daphne Alabama and here's the running for Williams big opening has five has ten got about the 15 yards as Lorenzo is being looked after on the far sideline Williams spins off one tackle, spins off another, and on the second and third effort, going to be close to the first down at the 49. Adrian Carston, let's check with you again. John Williams, he'll have the first down. Raymond Fontaine comes over to make the defensive play. It's Greer in motion. Play action, and Croyle steps up, gets by one, now throws a completion. McClain, the fullback, at the 30, 25, and he's inside the 20 to run. McClain, the true freshman. They got up there that time with nine seconds. Blitz coming up the middle, they pick it up, and this pass zinged and complete, and that's Greer, the young man we were just talking about. High school teammate to former high school teammate in Rainbow City. Good pass, and this one's going to be right down the middle. So let's take a break. 7.59 left, third quarter. Alabama, 13-7. to But 287 to 84 in total offense, but still it is only. A 13-7 to lead, and this is returnable by Abney. Abney's loose, 30, 35 to the 40, and a very good return as two penalty markers have come down, and I think the close one, Mike, is going to be face mask. He had trouble this year so far with his hamstring. It didn't look like that bothered him at all. Personal foul, face mask, 41 yards on a return, tack on 15 more. Third down situation, middle, top, 30, that's Bernard, and he's going to take it to the 27-yard line, and that'll be good for another third-down conversion. Lorenzo, shovel pass. Davis cuts it to the outside, stretch the ball out, and he will have the first down. Charles Jones is the man defensively for the Crimson Tide. Eighth play of the drive. It all started at the 41-yard line. And here's Davis, quick step inside the 10, fighting his way. He is going to have the first down at the five and a half yard line. Freddie Roach will make the stop. Here comes an option. He pitches. Davis going to be hit behind the line and knocked down for a loss. Colin Pepper, what an outstanding defensive play. And look at this angle right here, particularly for. Well, a left footer, actually, that's more than his advantage. High pass from center, they get it down, and he kicks it through perfectly. So we'll take a break. 2.22 left third quarter. And our new score, Alabama, leading by three. Adrian, I knew how good it was when you felt the rain on it uh, two weeks ago in Denver. Croyle reverses out. Not going to throw, he's going to run. At the 25, at the 30, stays on the field of play, and he will have the first down by four. Reese Davis, back to you. Mike thought he should have probably run a quarterback sneak. They didn't, and he stepped it, had to go for the field goal. Out of the flat, McClain, the big pullback. And boy, breaks off the top. 
tackle, a good second effort. Rudy B with the first down after the 34. It's Johnston, the second tight end in the ball game in motion. Sean Williams, 5-10, counted off at 13. Mike Williams with still another tackle. Gets it again, right up the middle, gets by a tackle, and he's loose. Has the first down and a lot more. Sean Williams still hustling. He'll get an extra 10 yards after he was initially hit. It is 19 on the play. He said the other day we had three back-to-back -back interviews for him to do after practice. He said, great. Now his replacement Bobby comes in. And he is still on his feet. And going to take it back. Inside the team, Chad Anderson save an Alabama touchdown. Darty, right side at the five. Puts a head down. They'll have him down at the two-and-a-half yard line. Bo Smith. Dare to make the hit. A million dollar band celebrates. 13 to 10. They lead this one uh, with 15 minutes to go when they have a second down and goal. Straight ahead. Sean Williams here. Score again. Ball came loose. But he had crossed the goal line. And the minute you break the plane, the play is over. Touchdown, Alabama. End over end kick. Their catch called for and made at the 21. Alabama's got 377 yards in the game. This is only the third time that they've had to punt. And they're in a dogfight. They only lead by 10. Wobbly spiral. No fair catch is called for. Yes, it is. Abney will make it at the 35 yard line. Lorenzen with the first down from the 35. Good protection this time. Zings the pass complete and that is to hold. From the shotgun. Lorenzen pumps it, gonna run it. He's gonna have the first down also. And about five yards. And I thought for a moment he had to look back like he might have lost, about to lose the football. So it's either 49 or 50 yard there. I think we're gonna say officially 49. Good pass, Newt. Tried to get too much into it, pushed it, and it is wide to the left. We'll take a break. 9.20 left in the ball game. Alabama continues to lead by 10. He's a warrior. I'll tell you, he's a, he could play quarterback for a lot of coaches. Mm-hmm. Boyle gets this one out to his tight end. Johnston has the first down and more, and probably the only downside of the play if you're Alabama clock is going to stop anyway with the first down, but the fact that he did go out of bounds. A lot of movement by Alabama, but they're up to the line of scrimmage in 14 seconds, so they got a lot of time. But Kentucky jumped that time. Boyle is going to run. Waits for his blocker, and then goes down at the 49. Yeah, that's right. Second down. No flags go. Yep, one did go down. That uh, running play is going to be knocked down for a loss. But it appeared as though Kentucky got into the neutral zone. So first down from the 44. And the running play with Williams breaks through a cut inside the 35, and he's down to the 33, close to the first down. In fact, he may have it. Trying to pick up that first down. Even if they don't, Kentucky will be a long way away from the end zone. This pass is the first down and Brandon Greer, his former high school teammate from Rainbow City, drag the tackler with him inside the 10-yard line. It will be first and goal. Syracuse. Sean Williams is His son, Barry, works in the sports information department here at Alabama. And I know uh, Keith, one of the biggest Crimson Tide fans around, and he is battling cancer, and we wish him well. Keith Allen down in Aniston tonight, and I know that he's still watching the telecast. Agnew with the return, and he breaks it out at the 40, at the 50, and it's going to be a cross midfield before he's finally dragged down on the near sideline by all the kicker. Lobs this one, and I believe it is caught as a flag comes down, and yes, Abney made the grab. First down. They throw the Egan, but again, on that football, that was behind the line of scrimmage. 
Tommy Cook, who's a junior. So a big loss in that play. It's going to be second down and 17. Clock about to go under four minutes left to play. Here comes the pressure. Slings this one. Has it complete. Maintains his balance. And Abney, did he step out of bounds? They're going to say touchdown. It's loose on the ground. They scramble at the 49-yard line. There's still a scrum underneath there. Let Mr. Williams get in there. He'll get it uh, cleared up. Brandon Greer, I believe, the wide receiver has had several big plays in this yeah, ball game tonight. Yeah, he comes up with the football. Third down and five. Josh got it again, turns it up, and he should have the first down. Boy, what a night. He scored three touchdowns in this ball game. Abdullah made the tackle on him. Personal foul against the Wildcats. 30 carries, 174, three touchdowns. Quite an easy. Hudson gets this one. Takes it straight up the middle. You can see he bounces his way up the right side. Inside the 20-yard line. I like his demeanor on the sideline. He is coaching the entire time. He's not getting angry at folks and screaming, and uh, he is keeping an eye on everything that's happening. Hudson, great second up, and he'll have the first down. Plus it on five more yards. 34 seconds, down to 33. That's going to be the final score here. The difference in this football game, rushing yardage. Look at that. Alabama Two. controlled the line of scrimmage. 269 to 26. Jared Lorenzen, the night just started off slowly for him. Tried to make things happen, but it uh, was one of those evenings where it was not to be. Five seconds, down to four, down to three. And this one goes in the record book. Mike Shula gets his first Southeastern Conference win. Alabama 27 to 17. Coming up next, it's Sports Center with ESPN News Post Game Extra. For more, log on to ESPN.com, your home for college football on the internet. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Good night, everybody, from Tuscaloosa, Alabama.